So with the carnivore and any other diet, I think it's super important that the things that we're putting into our body are also fed well. Um, I believe that for several reasons. Um, I don't believe the vegetarian and the vegan diet are working in these days because the food we get is not the same food as we had. My grandfather had a garden and you could pick a carrot and eat a carrot and it tasted like candy. I remember them. They were sweet. They were great. I started growing carrots with my kids and you could pick a carrot and eat it and they were great. But you could put that carrot in the fridge if you picked it and the next day it looked horrible. It had already started wilting. As soon as you pick a plant, it starts dying. So there is no way that you can pick a plant in this commercial farming complex that we have and get it to market without those vitamins and ingredients and things that we have in them not already having decayed. Also, that goes for the meats that we eat. So there's there's been some studies out there, um, but even the meat and what it's fed, you can taste the difference between corn-fed, grain-fed beef, and grass-fed beef. I'm getting rid of the pig in the mornings because look at what a pig eats. Um, I, I don't know if you know or not, but a pig eats almost anything. Whatever you put in front of their face in that trough, they'll eat. So that's what's giving nutrition to their body and those muscles and that fat. So I'm not finding that as a particularly appealing option. Um, that's why at least cows are made to be fed grass and you can see that there's some cows in Arizona and places like that that feed on this mixture of grasses and herbs and stuff like that that have an even different taste but along with that it just makes like logical sense that whatever you're feeding that animal is what it's processing in its body and then storing in its muscles and in its fat and if it's doing that then I and getting those nutrients and things from that meat. So I'm trying to get a nice spread of quality animals that have been taken care of. Um, that goes for the chicken, that goes for the fish, that goes for everything. I will try to find the study and link it down below in the comments, but there's a study that a man did at a sanitarium and he fed groups of cats different um, different foods and it's it's just a good video to watch and it's got a lot of good information but pretty much these first generation cats fed from a healthy raw food diet compared to a processed food diet um they degraded very rapidly and so it's interesting to see that and even several generations down the road they had genetic changes and things but the the, the video will be down below in the links and comments for you to watch if you're interested in that. Um, but that's where I get my personal bias on what kind of food I'm going to eat. Um, and I think that's why carnivore is working for so many people as opposed to vegetarian and vegan. Um, I, a lot of the people that I've seen and read about still have problems on vegan and vegetarian. A lot of the people that I know that do that still have the same problems that they're trying to get rid of. So doesn't make sense to me to do that. All right. That was the postscript. Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. And since you listened that far, here's to our health. Take care. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Darnell, out.